All right, here's the third one. So same rays, we still have to draw in our focal point or our center of curvature. So we're gonna measure this guy and I get 2.9 centimeters. So then we're gonna measure 2.9 centimeters on the other side. So some of you guys got confused because our center our object was in between the center of curvature and the focal point. But you're just gonna do the same thing in and out through C. So line up your C with the top of your object. It doesn't matter that it doesn't hit the mirror in and out through C. And then we're gonna go in parallel. And out through the focal point. So we pretty much know our image is gonna be right here. And then we're gonna go in through the focal point. And out parallel. Okay, and they're all meeting up at about the same spot. And then we are going to go in through the vertex. Okay, the reason why I started so far back is so that I can measure this angle. So we're gonna go in through the vertex, lining up our protractor. So we're measuring the blue one. So it's nine, oh, this looks like it's about eight degrees too eight degrees, that was chance. Okay, so don't think they're gonna be eight degrees all the time. Eight degrees on the other side. And then we're gonna draw in our reflected ray. Now if you did this and they didn't quite meet up, the most likely culprit is this guy because you drew in your C. So this guy here the way, where you went in and out through C that's your most likely reason why it didn't match up. And there is our image. And it is real, because it's made out of real light rays. It is inverted. You can see it's upside down. And it's actually magnified. This one's magnified. Okay, we can tell it's magnified if we measure it. So this is one centimeter and this is 0.8 centimeters, we could also calculate the magnification using negative di over do or hi over ho, and we'll see that this magnification is going to be like negative one point something. Okay, the negative just means it's inverted. Okay, that's still a magnification greater than one. So when you're looking at your magnification, you kind of want to look at the absolute value of it. Is it bigger or less than one? If it's bigger than one, then it's magnified.